obviously when you divert this it's not only one acre which is diverting there may be number of four acre so it is not dekho main aa gaya hat jao sab hat jao ab main divert karunga there many there many acre which divert together hello ladies and gentlemen your captain speaking from flight deck my name is captain surender singh welcome aboard the plane talking sit back relax and enjoy your journey so you are talking about regulation point of view how much fuel is required you need till destination which we refer it as trip fuel and then you need fuel for alternate normally going to alternate you will use only in case of you divert if you don't divert you land with this fuel so basically that is a reserve every time you fly there is something is called mdf minimum diversion fuel so when you hit that figure obviously you are initiate a diversion so the fuel requirement we have till destination which we refer it as trip fuel okay let's say that value comes to xx okay then you need to alternate let's say that is y y that is purely we are talking about regulations point of view we will see practically how it is done so destination alternate and then you need something called final reserve fuel now this final reserve fuel is fuel at alternate and you are holding at alternate at a height of 1500 feet agl above ground level because lower you are more is the fuel consumption so all this bigger aeroplane they do their visual approach at 1500 feet if you fly cessna or smaller aircraft their visual pattern is done at 1000 feet above ground level so you take the worst case that you divert obviously when you divert this it's not only one aircraft which is diverting there may be number of four aircraft so it is not dekho main aa gaya hat jao sab hat jao ab main divert karunga there are many there are many aircraft which divert together you find 40 aircraft if weather is bad 50 aircraft are diverting so you take the worst case you divert and there you hold at the lowest possible 1500 feet that is final reserve fuel there is a lot of misunderstanding about this holding fuel this holding fuel is not what you carry at destination that is different that is let's say if i go to mumbai in monsoon season you know <coughs> there will be rain there likely to be delay so that fuel is different you cater here half an hour one hour fuel holding fuel you carry similarly during fog season now if any aircraft is coming to delhi obviously you expect some delay because aircraft aircraft are landing in cat 3 bravo condition in that case aircraft are landing rate reduces so that fuel is different this fuel is as per regulatory requirement you need to have this final reserve fuel at holding at 1500 feet so now this final reserve fuel when you calculate is different for propeller driven aircraft and turbine turbine is what jet engine aircraft normally what we call it jet engine the correct name is turbine when we study technical that time we will we see for propeller driven aircraft it is 45 minutes during day time and for turbine engine obviously the fuel consumption is more it is 30 minutes okay that is your requirement means aircraft should be able to hold for at least 45 minute at alternate not destination so that is during day time night time it doesn't matter whether it is propeller driven or turbine engine it is 45 minutes during night so that is your final reserve fuel so this is the minimum fuel when you talking about regulation point of view practically we will see that we have something called contingency fuel also okay but otherwise this is the bare minimum fuel required so whatever this fuel is there this is your block fuel which you carry nowadays it is 
mandatory. When you fly, you need to have alternate. So in your book, when we will see there, uh, when alternate is not there or alternate not required, now regulation need to have, you should have a departure alternate, you should have en route alternate and you should have destination alternate. You, like in fog season when you fly to Delhi, you need two alternate. Because let's say I give for Lucknow, not necessarily whatever the fog is in Delhi, you will find in Lucknow also. Maybe you will find in Amritsar also. So probably you have to look for Ahmedabad. So you will have main one and then you have second alternate also. So practically when you fly, you need to have alternate. Theoretically, when we will see, we will see that obviously you need till destination plus 45 minutes plus some reserve extra. Okay, that we will see the theoretical. Clear on this? This is your regulation wise fuel requirement. Okay, a lot of people tend to confuse. Obviously, fuel consumption is more so 30 minutes. For night, for the safety, whether it is a propeller driven or it is a turbine engine, it is 45 minutes. If obviously alternate is Theoretical, when alternate is not there or not required, all those permutation combination, how much fuel you will carry? You will carry till destination plus 45 minutes plus something extra. So, 2 hours or 15%, whichever is lesser out of those. More of a theoretical. When you talk about navigation point of view, the fuel requirement is obviously just everything remains same. There is a little difference and that is practically what you do. You have, let us say going from Delhi to Mumbai and the alternate is Ahmedabad. So, you need trip, correct, plus you need fuel till alternate plus you require final reserve. So, that is bare minimum. When you do fuel calculation, you will carry fuel till destination which is trip fuel, that is what you will carry, plus you need something called contingency fuel. This is the term which is used, contingency, which is 5 percent of trip fuel. It is mandatory, you need to carry this. Now this is, what is this 5 percent? Now this caters for weather diversion. Let us say you are going and there is a annuit weather, what you will do? You will go left, right, you will skirt around the weather, you that is what you will do, it caters for that. Let us say you have filed for level 340, but that day you got level 300, 320, your fuel consumption will change. Whereas all your calculations are done with the flight level 340, so that caters for that. Let us say you had a forecasted wind something, but actual wind suddenly changed. So again your fuel requirement will change. So this 5 percent of trip fuel, which is called contingency fuel, it caters for all those conditions, level change, wind change, temperature change, everything it caters for that. That is the main difference when you talk about regulatory point of view. Technically speaking, this is also regulations. And when you do the test paper, that time also you will see question. And when people solve it, they ignore navigation may. That is contingency fuel 5 percent. Then obviously you need till alternate and you need fuel for final reserve, that is the term, 45 minute, 30 minute, day, night, that will depend. Again, for the navigation, you have a question, a turbine engine aircraft. So, when you are thinking about turbine engine aircraft, you have to carry that half an hour fuel. And in the question also, you will find it is given fuel consumption is 1200 kg per hour. Means, how much you have to cater for, for half an hour, 600 kg. You have final reserve, that is the fuel which you carry, something, whatever this fuel is, ZZ. Now this obviously practically when you fly, this is the bare minimum which you carry. When you reach something called minimum diversion fuel, MDF, any aircraft you fly, there is a figure MDF. When you reach here, you have no business to continue, you have to divert. In fact, there are calls also 10 minutes to divert. So, controller will tell you that your ap approximate approach time is whatever he tells you. Now, if it is after 20 minutes, you have no option. You have to divert. So, now it is regulation wise practically also when you fly, the moment you reach MDF, minimum diversion fuel, 
so that's why your calculations are continuous. You are holding continuously holding. When you see that you have only 10 minute fuel left to divert, you are supposed to give a call. 10 minute to divert. So controller will tell you you are estimated approach time so and so. Now you see how much. If it is within 10 minutes, then you will hold. Otherwise, you will you can divert. So that's how it is practically. Okay. But let's say if I'm going, to, I'm, I know if I'm going to Mumbai in monsoon, there will be a lot of traffic. Aircraft are slow down in landing. So I expect holding. Like I gave example, in winter you come to North India, in Delhi, there's Cat 3 operations are on. You know there's a holding. So you carry some extra fuel. So normally practically you will fly company on there. They have a, a basically performance section. They keep compiling the data. And it is a statistic like on this day or this month or this season when this flight goes, average fuel consumption is this much. So when you fly, practically you will find the extra is written there. But as a pilot, if you want to decide extra, more, you can always decide. Obviously, anything extra is which you need. If it is not required, obviously you don't carry. So that is your, let's say, extra fuel which you're carrying. And all combined together, it becomes a block fuel. These are the standard terms which are used. Drift fuel, block fuel, contingency fuel, final reserve fuel. These are the correctly correct terms to use. MDF, minimum diversion fuel. So let's say you are holding. I go to Mumbai, there is a weather there. Okay, so what I will do, whatever the extra I have taken, you put it in hold. Now when you know that, when you have 10 minutes to divert MDF, minimum diversion, you give a call. Clear on this? So that is about your fuel planning. Please copy this also. This is for navigation point of view. See you after the break, your captain speaking.